Now let's discuss how to estimate the core losses in the most complicated case when the magnetic flux is caused by the periodical non-sinusoidal excitation. Have a look at this setup. We have the single phase transformer where the core is made from the two halves of the E core. Primary winding consists of 80 turns and powered by the square wave pulses at 20 kilohertz. We need to estimate the core losses in the no load mode. Quick field model which corresponds to this description is already prepared. Here it is. The problem formulation is obviously the transient magnetics. And there are the following objects in the geometry model. There is the core with the magnetic permeability of 2700. There is the insulation with magnetic permeability of 1. There is primary winding right side and the left side of the winding. And the winding consists of 80 conductors. The conductors are connected in series the electric conductivity of copper specified. As we run the no load simulation, there is no current in the secondary and it is represented by the single block with zero electric conductivity at zero electric current. And there is also the external circuit. In the external circuit, the two halves of the winding are connected in series to the voltage source. You see the voltage source is specified uh, with this equation. This is sinusoidal function where 360 degrees multiplied by 20 kilohertz multiplied by time and we take the sign of this sinusoidal function. So we will have the rectangular waveform. The problem is already solved so let's take a look at the result. Here you can see the magnetic field lines and the color map of the current density in the winding. In the transient problem, you can change the moment of time and see the field distribution for a specific moment of time. And in this particular case, we also have the electric circuit and can see the currents and voltages in the electric circuit. The time plot of the voltage shows the square pulses. So it's exactly as it should be. But the current pulses in the primary winding are not square. They have triangle shape. 
and current follows the voltage with some delay caused by the eddy currents and the magnetic flux in the coil will follow the shape of the current and this shape is definitely not sinusoidal so the Bertotti expression used in AC magnetics model of quick field for losses calculation cannot be used there are publications offering various methods for calculation of the losses in pulsed fields and in the report published by Dr. Sullivan and Dr. Harris from Dartmouth University core losses for rectangular waveforms were analyzed and the practical approach was proposed. It is based on the Stamis-like formula which takes into account the amplitude of the square wave flux density, the frequency and several numerical coefficients which should be found for specific material of the core. Sullivan here is the report and Sullivan and Harris also published the measured values of this coefficient. Here is the table. And this is are the values of the coefficient for the our type of the core. This line. K alpha one beta one K two alpha two beta two. So we have formula to calculate the losses. We know the frequency. We have the coefficients for this type of the core. And quick field simulation gives us the distribution of the flux density at any moment of time. But how to combine all these together and perform integration of the losses over the volume of the core? We may use the same approach as we did for calculation of the AC losses utilizing the custom integral function of quick field application programming interface. All we need to do is select the moment of time when the fluxes will be at their maximum levels and then we may use the same Excel file with minimal modifications. Let's take a look at it. It consists of, of one of worksheet which acts as a user interface and keeps the core loss formula coefficients and also the cell where the elementary losses are calculated. When we press button calculate core losses the Excel macro runs. This Excel macro is a very small piece of VBA code which performs two functions. It receives from quick field the value of the flux density in each point 
included in the integration area. This value of the flux density we put in the B underscore cell in our spreadsheet in this cell. And this value is used in our formula to calculate the losses. And after the losses density in point is calculated, we take its value and send it back to QuickField. In previous example we used the custom integral formula which was based on three coefficients and now we have the formula which uses six coefficients and takes the maximum of two calculation results. As I said we need to adjust the field picture that it will show the maximum value of the flux density. So let's open the circuit simulation result. Here at this moment of time at this moment of time we will have the maximum values of the flux density which is 9.25 times 10 to the power of minus 4. So I will adjust the field picture here it is. This is the peak values of the flux density. Now we need to select the area where the losses should be integrated. We may select the wall core by clicking it. Or we may also select some smaller part of the core by drawing the contour around it. Our Excel spreadsheet will work with any shape of the selection. We need to correct the equation for the losses calculation. Now it will it is based on the three on the six coefficient k1, alpha one, beta one, k2, alpha two, beta two. And the values of the coefficient are the following. Eighteen point zero two, alpha one point twenty three, beta two point forty five, k two three hundred fifty times ten to the power of minus six. 2.10, 2.53. And I should also correct this equation. Which is maximum of two terms. Maximum. The first term is K1 multiplied by the frequency in the power of alpha 1 multiplied by the flux density in the power of beta 1 
and the second term is k2 multiplied by the frequency in the power of alpha 2 multiplied by the flux density in the power of beta 2. And we should also specify the correct value of the frequency, which is 20 kilohertz. Everything seems correct. We may press the button now. Button activates marker, which generates call to quick field. And custom integral method starts working, and for each for each calculation point in the current selection, the flux density is transferred in this cell. The value then is used in calculating the losses using called integral function, and the result is transferred back to quick field for summing up. And after all the partial sums calculated, we have the resulting value displayed here in our Excel document. This is the resulting value. The total loss, total core loss in this piece of the core. So the most complicated part of the magnetic core loss calculation in pulsed fields is finding the reliable formula and experimentally measured coefficients. If they are available, then quick field custom integrals act as a powerful tool for using external defined formulas.